Kim Jong-un calls for exponentially increase in North Korea's nuclear arsenal amid the threats from South and U.S. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un attends a 12 meeting of a political bureau of an eight central committee of the Workers' Party of Korea in Pyongyang, North Korea, on December 31, 2022. So South Korea CNN. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un is calling for an exponential increase in his country's nuclear weapons arsenal in response to what he claims are threat from South Korea and the United States, Pyongyang's state media reported Sunday. Kim's comments come as North Korea twice over the weekend tested what he claimed was the large nuclear capable multiple launch rocket system that could put all of South Korea in its range, according to a report from the Korean Central News Agency. Speaking on New Year's Eve on the final day of the six-day plenary session that reviewed 2022, Kim said South Korea has become an undoubted enemy and its main ally, the U.S., has increased the pressure on the North to the maximum level over the past year by frequently deploying its military assets to the Korean Peninsula. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un on Saturday praised the country's super-large multiple rocket launcher called the MR MRL which he claims will put all of South Korea within range and can be loaded with tactical nuclear warheads. In response, Kim said in the coming year that Pyongyang must must produce tactical nu nuclear weapons while developing a new intercontinental ballistic missile called the ICBM that could give the North a quick counter-strike capability, according to a KCNA report. Kim's comments come at the end of the year that saw his regime test more missiles than at any time in North Korean history, including an ICBM that could uh, theory strike the U.S. mainland. On Saturday, in its 37th day of missile testing 2022, North Korea fired at least three short-range ballistic missiles from a site south of Pyongyang, according to South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff. It follows that only Sunday with another test. North Korea said both Saturday's and Sunday's test were of 600 millimeter, millimeter multiple launch rocket system. Most multiple rocket launch systems in service around the world are around 300 millimeter in size. The 600mm MRL was far first introduced three years ago, and the production has been increased since late October of 2022 for deployment, Kim said in his speech to the plenary session on Saturday, according to KCNA. He later added that the additional 30 of the 600mm MRL will be deployed to the military simultaneously. Kim said the weapon is a couple of uh, overcoming high landforms can consecutively strike with the pres precession, precision has all of the South Korea in its shooting range and it can be loaded with the tactical nuclear warheads, according to the KCNA report. Prospectively, as a key offensive weapon of our military forces, it will carry out its own combat mission to overwhelm the enemy, Kim said. Expert, North Korea expanding capabilities. Leif Eric Easley, a professor at Ihua University in Seoul, said Pyongyang has used the past year to demonstrate its ability to perform a range of military strikes. It recently, missile launches were not technically impressive. Instead, a high volume of tests at unusual times and from various locations demonstrate that North Korea could launch different types of attacks anytime and from many directions, easily said. Easily also noted that it, it's not just the missiles that North Korea is using to up the military pressure on the south 
Last week, Pyongyang flew five drones into South Korean airspace, forcing Seoul to scramble fighter jets and helicopters to track them and later to send its own drones into North Korean airspace. It all leads to an escalation of tensions, according to Easily. Such provocations, including drone incursions, appear excessive for deterrence and may be intended to scare South Korea into taking a softer policy. But with Kim disavowing diplomacy and threatening to mass produce North Co- nuclear weapons, the Yoon administration is likely to further increase South Korea's defense capability and readiness, easily said. For its part, South Korea is beefing up forces too. Seoul's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, called the DAPA, announced last month that it will spend more than $2.7 billion over 10 years to strengthen the missile capabilities and the survivability of its fleet of F-15K fighters jet that will play a key role at, in any possible strikes in North Korea. Washington is also not standing still, as well as deploying assets like F-22 fighters and B-1 bombers to the exercises around the Korean Peninsula. The U.S. military recently activated its first space force command on foreign soil in South Korea, with a unit new commander saying he is ready to face any threat in the region. The new unit will be tasked with the coordinating space operations and services such as missile warning, position navigation, and timing and satellite communications within the region, according to the U.S. Forces Korea. Even before Kim's latest remarks, the expert has noted the big strides Pyongyang had made in its missile forces over the past year. And Kit. Panda, a nuclear policy expert at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, told the CNN in mid-December that Pyongyang has emerged as a missile power. The bigger picture is that North Korea is literally turning into a prominent operator of large-scale missile forces, Panda said. The word word test is no longer appropriate to talk about most North Korean missile launches. Most of the missiles they have launched this year were part of a mis- military exercises. They are a rehearsal for nuclear war, and that, I think, is the big picture for this year, Panda said. 